Welcome to Henshaw's Knowledge Village, the place to go for expert information and advice on site loss. My name is Mark Belcher and I'm the Community Services Manager and I'm here to tell you about a fundamental change in the magnification features of the Apple phone. Please stay tuned. So this video is a supplement of a fantastic video we did on Apple's accessibility, notably the magnifying feature. Um, they've done an update, which is basically something called person detection, and it's absolutely fantastic. Something I really need to say is the fact that this is only available on the premium end of the Apple iPhones. So mine's an Apple 12 Pro. Uh, so just be mindful of that, hopefully, it will be on all models past this. But we're gonna get straight into the new feature, which is person detection, which is fantastic. Um, what I'm gonna do now, I've already set it up. I'm just gonna introduce the phone to Ben, and you'll, you'll basically witness how it picks Ben up and tells me how close he is. So I'm just gonna do that now, and then we'll talk about it further. Six. There's Ben, six feet away. Slow down. So I got, so I got, I basically got a vibration and I got a verbal response telling me that there's a person there and how far he is away from me. It's just fantastic. What we did in the office, um, we we see how far that camera can can basically track me and it picked me up about about forty feet, um, and then I walked towards the camera, moving kind of left and right, and it tracked me. And then verbally, once I got around 14 feet, I actually then started counting down how close I was to the camera. Further I got to the camera, obviously the indication of the distance changed. Um, I had it in feet, you can have it in metric, um, and it's absolutely crystal clear and accurate. So, so what, really? I mean, how, what, how would you use such a thing? Well, essentially, you could do it in various ways. So I don't know, in a queue. So if, you, if you're in a queue and you've got low vision or no vision, you could actually make sure that you're in, you've got an indicator when people are moving along in that queue, so you can too. You could do it to find a seat at a theater or in a bus, or I don't know, on a park bench. Um, so you could indicate if, that's a, you know, if that space is free or not. Um, you could even do it like if you walked into a room and you just kind of wanted to know if you're the only one in there or not. Lots of ways you could use this. So we're really excited wondering where this is gonna go because no one really wants to be holding the phone up to do things, you know. Um, what would be really good if this technology was attached to something called Apple Glass, which we think might be the future. Um, lots of speculation online about Apple Glass and the connectivity. And who knows, if you've seen a video of ours called Scene AI, imagine if Scene AI was attached to a pair of wearable glasses, not just attached to your phone, where you've got to move it and manually move it around. I think that's where the future's going, and I don't think it's that far away. So we're really keeping our eyes peeled to make sure that we're around to tell you how that's gonna work. Um, so yeah, it's exciting times coming ahead, and this looks like something that's, that's right on the cusp of something absolutely magnificent. So uh, I hope you like this very short video. I hope it was short enough for you. Um, and I hope you have the opportunity to try this tech out. As we said previously, unfortunately, it's only on the Apple 12 Pro, but we hope this is on further models right the way through the range. Um, so fingers crossed, Apple. So that's me done, really. So I hope you like this video. I hope you give me a thumbs up, leave some comments, and always subscribe and pass it on. So until next time, I'll see you then.